Hey everybody, it's Andre from the Equisoft Field Guide. I'm coming to you with a really quick video. Uh, somebody asked me what the three most underutilized features are in Equisoft. So this is going to be my top three most underutilized features in Equisoft. And here we go. Number one. Number one, honestly, in my opinion, is the chart. Um, I think that most offices fully underutilize the chart. I think most offices are still using blue and red uh, the same way we used the blue and red on a uh, paper chart. And I think what happens is you're not seeing what you need to do. And I think a lot of uh, the outstanding um, treatment plan reports, a lot of the uh, uh, a lot of the figures that we look at through uh, third party analytic reports um, are getting lost because it's not being seen in the chart. So I'll give an example. So I'm just gonna open up a patient's chart here. And it, typically what I'm looking at in a patient's chart is, do I see in this odontograph uh, what I would see in the patient's mouth? And if I don't, then we've got an issue. So perfect example, let me just do the typical uh, implant. I'm gonna place an implant here, an existing implant. I'm gonna put uh, a, a bone graft on there. So I can still see the bone graft. And let's also see if I can do a uh, custom abutment. So let's do implant abutment custom. All right, and then let's also do a crown on that. So implant crown. Uh, but would support it. So now I could see all three of those. Now I know everybody doesn't have as detailed drawings in their charting as I do, but the beauty of this is by looking at this, I can tell a lot of things. First of all, I can tell that that is a all ceram crown versus a PFM because a PFM in my book would look like, let me just put a PFM in here just so you can see the difference. So a PFM would be all, all solid where a ceramic crown would be pixelated. So again, I see more in my chart because I have put more detail into being able to see it. So I don't need to read a lot of information. And then again, this is being underutilized. I wanna be able to see that this tooth has a difference between, between three and four. I wanna see that there is a custom abutment attached to this. I want to see that there's bone grafting involved. I want to see the full picture of what's happening with this patient. And I can do that through the chart. So that's my number one. Number two, uh, number two most underutilized feature in EagleSolve, um, honestly, is the money finder report. Uh, most people are just going to reports and running reports this way. I typically don't use reports in this format. And a lot of times people are asking questions in the Eaglesaw Field Guide about reports. And it's just not my thing. I don't use this to run a lot of reports because all this is, can tell me is the past. It can't really tell me much about my future. So what I use is activities, practice management, and money finder. All right, so activities, practice management, and money finder. The money finder tool is one of those tools that I can use to be able to be proactive about the, the practice instead of reactive about the practice. If I just look at what we produced last month, all I can do is say, boom, yeah, that's amazing we did that much last month, or, oh, that's a shame we did that much last month. But with money finder, I can actually affect the future. So one of the best, easiest ways to do this is just give you an example of a, a tool. Most times when things are slow, we typically pick up the phone to start calling recall patients. Well, how about this? Uh, let's call everybody who has a status of with insurance. So all of our insurance patients, all right, we're now into um, what's the end of the year. And let's say, let's go add, show me everybody who uh, lacks a completed service. And let's get some better criteria here. They're between seven years old and 14 years old. And they lack a completed D1351, which is a SELA. So if they're between seven years old and 14 years old and never had a sealant, all right, and they have insurance, well, they basically have a $200 service. Let's just say $50 per sealant for teeth. 
that's a that's a hundred dollar two hundred dollar procedure that this patient is lacking now i know that not every patient is going to qualify in that category but i could also say um and they lack let's just we could do a d2392 all right we could also go through most most of these services so i could say if they've never had a a, a restorative a posterior restoration I could do that to whittle out those patients who, you know, they don't have virgin teeth, but more than likely, there are going to be patients there who've had one posterior restoration uh, and still could qualify for three sealants. So I don't really want to use that. Uh, yeah, you know, it's a possibility, but I just want to show those patients who lack sealants who are between seven to 14 years old who have insurance and I can run that report. And there's a million combinations I can give you, but even the EagleSoft has give you a bunch of preset ideas, all right? And they have done a few things here and they've even done their sealant list. Uh, I do, do it a little differently. They use six to 18, which I don't think is the right criteria. And they also didn't whittle it down by insurance, but this is a great tool to be able to utilize. So number two is Money Finder. Number three. My number three most underutilized EagleSoft feature is, and everybody kind of is gonna know what I'm talking about because I talk about this all the time, is List and IntelliCare. IntelliCare are intelligent alerts. It's if this, then that. So if a patient um, hasn't had bite wings in 12 months, I want something that pops up that says, it's time to review them for bite wings. It doesn't mean that they need them but it's been 12 months since we've charged out those codes that include bite wings. So I have this for just about everything in the practice, but you know, as an example, I'm just gonna set up a really quick one and you can see I've got a whole lot here, but I'm gonna create a new one. So I'm gonna do that, uh, review the bite wings, all right? So notice I say how the way I'm, I'm writing this, review the need for them. It doesn't mean that the patient has to have them. It's just time to review the patient for their needs. All right, so review need for bite wings under services. I'm gonna hit add, all right? And I'm gonna add those services that would include bite wings. So a D0210 would include bite wings, all right? Oops, I used the wrong code, sorry. Let me take that one back out. That's one of my admin codes. I'm going to add that back in, which is a D0210, which is my full series. There it is. I'm going to add a D0272, which is my two bite wings. And I'm going to add my D0274, which is my four bite wings. And that's really the series that we do in the office. Your, each office will be different, but that's the series I do in, in the office. And I'm going to say every 12 months, let's review this. Right, and a day, and then immediately. So warn me immediately. So I put the zero in there, and then I pick an icon. And you can pick any icon that you want that will help your office. I typically use a green tooth. Um, so there's that green tooth icon, and that should be in everybody's system. But that's what I set up for my need for bite wings. All right, review the need for bite wings. I set my codes. I set my my parameter. All right. I give an icon and then here, this says, show it to me on my schedule. And this says, show it to me, on my virtual clinical screen. And that's all you need to do. Just hit okay and they'll show up. And there are, there's a little more uh, subtleties that have to be put into the setup, but I've talked about that in other videos and other, uh, other posts and in my blog. So that is the number three most underutilized feature in EagleSoft. Hope that helps. Talk to you soon guys, bye-bye.